people to walk in and lead them and praise in God. Yeah. Peter and John were thrown into jail and subsequently instructed that they were to preach no more, nor to teach in the name of Jesus any longer. The religious aristocracy wanted to bring an end to the noise. They did not want to deal with a situation that had political and revolutionary overtones, and they did not want to deal with a culture based on testimony. Now here's the problem. I want to make sure you understand what I'm saying. Here's the problem. To permit the testimonies to continue, and to permit the people to continue with their public and emotional display because of the miracle that they had seen in one and the miracle they had experienced in their own lives, to permit them to continue to make indiscriminate noise in the public square would not simply be a testimony to their physical healing, but would facilitate their psychological well-being as well. Oh, you didn't understand that. Come, come here, somebody. I'm going to put you on the couch now. Come here, somebody. It may be, just maybe, it may be that the reason we are as messed up as we are is because we have not availed ourselves of the release that is available to us through prayer. Can we talk here for a moment? Whatever my physical problem is, it is not my physical problem alone. For somehow my physical problem has psychological consequences, so it is necessary that I not only heal my body, but it is necessary that I heal my mind as well. Are you praying with me? Consequently, if and when my mind is healed, help me somebody, my body will display the evidence, and that's when I'll be able to say, Look at my hands, and they look new. I look at my feet, and they came too. And ever since that wonderful day, my soul's been satisfied. Somebody talk back to me here now. Oh, therefore, my praise comes as a consequence of both my physical and my psychological healing. And I'm going to tell you again, because I don't think you heard me the first time. I'm going to tell you that the reason we are as messed up as we are is because we have not availed ourselves of the release that is available to us through praise. So you come to church all tied up in knots, not realizing that in your healing is in your ability to release what's holding on to you and that you're holding on to and give God your praise. So you take pills, you take to sleep in the night, you take pills to wake up in the morning, your high blood pressure is out of control, your A1C is a mess, your pulse is out the roof, and your charts are all high, all because of your high tone cell, you refuse to give God the praise. I say you come to church and you think it's undignified to clap your hands.
else for now. Because I've done everything else for that. The lame man and the gift. The silver and the gold. The healing of the lame man, the walking, the leader, and the prison, and the jailing of Peter and John, the threats of punishment, and all the rest. The political leaders of the day could not punish Peter and John because the people had a praise on that they would not quit. Just for 